What's going on people, it's Necro Ninja here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to get that red border weapon and the two secret chests out of Crota's End. So technically there is three, I guess, secret chests in Crota's End, but Bungie says that the third one might be bugged. It might not even exist. We don't know. The community does not know, and Bungie says there's an issue with it. So right now, I'll just show you the two that we know, plus the red border. As always guys, if you enjoy the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Your support is always appreciative and you don't want to miss out on any of the upcoming videos, guides, and fun stuff that we have planned here in the channel. Alright, without further ado, let's get into it. To get your free red border, you're going to have to activate statues throughout the raid. To find out what statues you guys need to activate, as soon as you spawn in, run all the way to the edge to where the bridge is not built stand there look out to your left and you're gonna see a pair of statues now there are three pairs of these statues in each pair one statue is lit up remember the sequence because those are the statues that you have to light throughout the raid moving on to the first secret chest uh, it is in the abyss now you can do this multiple ways you can do this while you're doing the encounter but I highly suggest finishing the encounter first because once you finish the encounter the whole mechanic of the weight of darkness and everything keeping you down disappears so it makes it a lot easier to traverse the abyss. From the starting plate, the first circle that you drop on upon, if you go to your left and you go five doors down, you're gonna have to turn a corner. That is where the secret chest is. We'll watch the video for confirmation. All right, so our first set of statues that you have to activate for the red border are here in the bridge room. As soon as you come through the abyss and out of the light into the bridge room, if you go at the top of the stairs and stare directly across the bridge, one statue is going to be to your left in a little tower area underneath, and the other statue is going to be to your right in another tower area underneath, kind of similar to that. Just activate the correct one from the sequence that you saw up top and you're good to go. You should get a message that says your choices echo into the future or something. All right, the next set of statues is immediately after you finish the bridge encounter. They're actually across the bridge area. For orientation purposes, stand on the bridge plate looking at where you guys have to go. To the left is your left statue. To the right is your right statue. And immediately following this inside to the Shrieker hallway, we are going to get our second secret chest. This one will require a little bit of speed. Make sure you are quick. Uh, the third person who grabs the chalice from you after you're doing the little mechanic here needs to deposit that into the preserve location as fast as possible before the door closes. The door closes, you're not getting your secret chest, but if you do it quick enough and the door doesn't close, the door will reopen and the chest will spawn. All right, and the last set of statues for the red border are here in Crota's throne. The easiest way that I can have you guys remember the orientation for this one is to jump up through those three top rooms above and stand right in the middle room and look towards the oversoul. To your left is going to be a statue on the left. To your right is gonna be a statue on your right. Activate the correct one and you should get your red border after killing Crota. There it is, peeps. Now you guys know where the secret chest and how to get the red border. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!